In this video, I'm going to tell you how to be the star of any holiday party that you go to by bringing the most delicious, thoughtful bottle of wine you can. Don't forget to stay tuned until the end because I'm also going to give you a checklist of everything we're going to go through as well as my personalized wine recommendations. If you want to live the wine life and host with confidence and attend parties with confidence, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to know when I have a new video every Thursday. I'm Deanie and I've been hosting wine tastings for the past 20 years, including for British Royals and a party with Julia Child. And I'm going to share that with you today so that you can be the star guest when you show up with that great bottle of wine. There are three questions that you want to ask yourself. The first question you want to ask is, how formal is the event? This is going to inform your budget. Now, if it is your average party that you go to, I would say spend a minimum of $15 on a bottle of wine. This is really my price floor below which I don't spend when I'm taking a bottle of wine to someone else because at that price point, you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to be able to take a really solid bottle of wine. If this is a formal type of holiday event, then I try to spend at least $40 or perhaps more on a bottle of wine. It's kind of like figuring out what to give as a wedding present. You really want to take into consideration what did it take for these hosts to be able to put on this lovely event for you to attend. The second question you want to ask yourself is, is this person a wine expert? Now, think to yourself. Have I heard them talking a lot about wine, the kinds of wines they like, or that trip to Napa or Tuscany that they did? If so, this might be a sign that you're dealing with somebody who is a wine connoisseur. In this case, I usually like to spend a little bit more money on the bottle of wine because I know that they're going to enjoy it and appreciate it. The other thing I might do for a wine expert is I might go away from all of the known grape varieties and the safe places that I would take to somebody who doesn't know wine might go off the beaten path and find something really interesting for that person to try. Now, if this person is not a wine expert, I usually go for some of the classics like a bottle of bubbles or a bottle of Pinot Noir because I think those are both two very safe bets where you can't go wrong. I'd also think about the third question, which is what type of party is this? Not how formal is it like in the first question, but kind of like, what's the environment going to be like? Is it celebratory? Is it more of a chill party? Is it a work party? And I'd love to know from you, what types of holiday parties are you going to this season? Let me know in the comments. If this event is more of a wine and cheese party or like a cozy party, one of those formal types of work parties, I usually try to take a bottle of red wine. In the winter months when it's cold outside, everybody loves a bottle of red wine. And my go-to bottle of red wine that some of you may have heard me talk about before is a bottle of Barbera. Barbera is so delicious because you can get a really good one for $15 to $20 a bottle. And I have yet to meet a person who doesn't love a bottle of Barbera. You'll also find that you'll score points for bringing something that's a little exotic, something that's Italian that's not a Chianti. Now, of course, my favorite wine to take people is Bubbles, especially if it's going to be a celebratory kind of festive event. This is really great because the host could choose to open it right then and there and that way it'll kind of add to the celebration of the party. And if you want to know whether or not you as a host or the host that you take the bottle of wine to is supposed to open that bottle of wine, you can watch my video about how to graciously accept a bottle of wine. And if the hosts don't choose to open it right then and there, now they've got a perfect bottle of wine to enjoy with their weekend brunch for mimosas or whatever it is. Now, if you really want to up the game, you can already bring a bottle of orange juice or peach or pear nectar or something like that to be able to go with the bottle. And I even, if I can, like to sneak it into their fridge with a little note that says, you know, enjoy this for the morning after brunch. Cheers. Thanks for a great party guarantee you if you do this and when the hosts wake up the next morning and they enjoy that, you are definitely going to be remembered as that star guest of the party. 
Now that you've gone through all this trouble to bring a very thoughtful and delicious bottle of wine to your host, you're going to want to know how to leave your custom mark so that they will be able to remember you for that. And I've got a video on that too. So to review, there are three easy questions that you can ask yourself that will inform how much money you should spend and what wines you can take to that next holiday party. If you want these three questions in a checklist format, as well as my specific wine recommendations to go along with that, then click on the link below so you'll be able to download my holiday gift wine buying guide. I've got some really great value recommendations in there, so I know you're going to want that guide. So go ahead and click on the link to download it. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give it a like, share it with all of your party going friends, and don't forget to subscribe. And then I would love to know from you, what tips do you have for us? What is the best holiday gift that you have ever received as a host? And what's the best hostess gift that you've ever given? Let us know. Cheers.